welcome back folks for another episode with Newcastle and as promised if uh, Chelsea remained unbeaten until we get to this point we will play Chelsea and uh, Chelsea have remained unbeaten so we're playing Chelsea <laughs> oh dear it's um yeah probably not the best time to come to them really at the moment uh, they're the only other side apart from Manchester United that have remained unbeaten so far this uh, this campaign and uh, we've only just won the one game in the league since our last um, episode. We beat Tottenham 3-1. Martinez with a fantastic hat-trick. I mean, we dominated this game quite emphatically. Uh, to concede a goal was a bit rough. But it was a shot from outside the box. And then somehow VAR did not pick it up. I'm sure Barbosa was offside. But uh, he wasn't. So um, the goal stood. But a 3-1 win all the same. Uh, but before that, we played Port Vale in the Carabao Cup. We had a uh, rotated side. Uh, teams that are literally fringe players playing. And we ran out 3-0 three, three winners. Aaron's uh, scoring a goal. And uh, Sean Longstaff with two great goals from set pieces. So uh, quite impressive. And that does set us up with a game against Tottenham once again. This time away from home in the Carabao Cup fourth round, which I'm not really interested. We'll play the rotated side once again. Salzburg in the Champions League, a routine 5-0 smashing. And uh, Martinez getting his second hat-trick on the bounce. Three goals, maximum with a goal. And uh, Regani getting his first goal for the season as well. So I was a very, very impressed. 50,000 uh, attendance there. So that was quite good. And we uh, gained another £2 million as well for the win. So today we've got Chelsea. We're going to skip past the Brighton one. And then we're going to come back to the Dortmund game as well. So hopefully um, it's going to be looking quite good. The table in the uh, Champions League at the moment. We are two for two. First off, we've got Chelsea away from home. We're going to go slightly balanced this time. We're not going to be going attacking. So let's have a look at the side that's going to take them on. Right, we do have a change to the back four. Yes, indeedy, we have a change. Uh, Merit is going to start off in goal. Uh, Zaro, Rigani, Diallo and Messina. He comes in on the left-hand side. Yeah, Pellegrini's uh, picked up a ye uh, yellow card. I think it was another one. And uh, suspended for this game. Great. Uh, Vilhina and... Um, Neves in the centre. We've got Maximum Rodriguez and Atsu comes in. Bernard, he's picked up a... Uh, I think he's suspended, actually, from the last sending-off he had against um, Man City. So, yeah, we tr we're appealing. We're appealing, but I don't think he's going to stand. And then we've got Martinez, who's literally scored 11 goals in nine games now. <laughs> wow, what a player. <laughs> I can't... Um, I tell you what, he's going to be leading goal scorer again this season. Chelsea, on the other hand, have got Kepa in goal. They've got Tamara... Pavard, Ferrer, Slate, Salts, uh, we've got Clark, Salter, Can uh, Kante, Coop, Minas, Bernadeschi, Mount, Everton, and Lakaku. Oh, they've got Lakaku, four goals, and uh, when did they get him then? They must have got him in the transfer, surely. How much did they pay for him? 82 million. He has been scoring goals. Uh, just goes to show you scored more away from Man United than he did when he played with them. Wow. <laughs> So, yeah, we're going to have to keep a close eye on him then, I guess. Let's uh, get on with the game and see if we can stop Chelsea from uh, staying unbeaten, shall we? Uh, we'll have a little bit of faith of you, as we always do. Just make sure I click the right buttons. Straight into the tunnel, and let's kick off then. Let's uh, start off. Who's kicking off where? It's a very shaded stadium. As Chelsea come forward, Tamori at the other side. And, oh, God, that could have gone in within a minute of the start. Wow. Tomori again with the throw. And down that right-hand side, uh, I mean, it's a tackle. Atsu's on a yellow card as well. So there must be a few yellow cards flying around. And so we're trying to play the ball out as we do. As Maximin races down that right-hand side, past the ball. It's got to go to Martinez in the middle. He's on form, giving the ball. Oh, we've been doing it back. Well played. As the Chelsea player stuttered with the ball there. Throw in. And that looks like it's in the box. And it's going to be a penalty. We've given away a daft penalty here. Why, Lazaro? What did you do, my friend? Oh, what a save by Merritt. Wow. And Neves on hand to knock it away. Right, let's get this ball away then, folks. Cross comes in and a wonderful save by Merritt once again. I tell you what, if it was anybody else, we would be struggling in that goal. Lazaro with a long, long throw. But it's gone in. Diallo with his first goal. Come on. Is that his first goal? For the it is. We've brought him in in the summer. And he scores his first goal on the back post. Lazaro with a wonderful throw in. Maximin heads it on. And Lazaro empty net. 1-0 at 
Chelsea, Stamford Bridge, I think it was. Yes, so, so Cross comes in. It's a wonderful stop again. Lakaku denied. Pick that. Don't pick that out because you didn't get. Oh, that was close as well, actually. Just as I was about to say, denied. And uh, yeah, we almost concede a goal. Uh, we're under the cosh a little bit, though. We do have to be careful. We are letting them come on to us, though. But we are breaking very, very quickly. And the uh, passes are very, very deadly. Chelsea looking to extend their unbeaten run. We're looking to end it. It's a great cross in, but nobody there as uh, Everton runs off with it. Still running. Uh, so I tell you what, our goalkeeper, you've got to give him his dues. He is literally playing a blinder. Let's head that away. We don't head that away. And uh, Mount, we do block it though. It's good. Outplayed here a little bit. I'm just wondering whether to go a little bit attacking because we are letting them come on to us. And we don't really want that to happen. At the moment, we're lying top of the table. So <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Mount with the corner ball. Uh, so Wow, that gets it away again. But the cross comes back. We can't afford to let another penalty be conceded. As uh, Salter is going to be uh, yellow carded here. There's a long throw and opportunity. Matt Seema. Cross comes in. Oh, my word. It's a lovely throw in. The goalkeeper came in, missed it, as uh, we've already taken a corner. And, um, yeah, we're not playing that well, are we? As Lakaku runs onto it, he slots it in this time. Uh, we are going to go a little bit more attacking now, because I do believe we are... Um, we're just not playing well at all. Chelsea are playing very good though, but Lakaku left. I mean, it's it was look nice the way he moved it onto his left foot though, but Lakaku placed it in. Merrick could do nothing about that. It was literally well on his own there. As uh, we're back to one one, we're back down to second spot purely because of dot goal difference. As uh, we're coming up to twenty minutes to go, we do want to make a change. Atsu's not really made any difference down this left hand side. So what we're going to do? We're going to bring in. Uh, Aaron's on that right hand side. Sancho's almost ready. Back post. And that's over. Right. Okay. We're going to pause it there and make a change down. Maximin can go over the right hand side. Left hand side. Sorry. We're going to bring in Aaron's. Sancho's available, but I don't particularly want to use him. Uh, we're going to bring Shelby in there and we're going to swap them two around, actually. In fact, I'm bringing Almada. Rodriguez is just not having the best of games, is he? Right. Okay. Let's do this then, boys. Uh, a draw isn't bad away from home, especially at Chelsea anyway. But we do want to end their unbeaten run. As far, as long as they're unbeaten, they do remain a threat as we're coming into the last few minutes of the game. Chelsea, like I say, are threatening. Zayek, good stop by Merritt. As a, hopefully he's going to pump that ball up. I mean, this is a good uh, warm-up for the uh, Dortmund game as well. And Maximin comes for... Oh, it's a penalty referee! <laughs> It's got to be a penalty. Are we going to win this? Oh, it's a penalty. Martinez, come on, son. Come on. Yes! Come on. That's his 12th goal of the season already, boys and girls. 12th goal of the season. He knows how to put a penalty in. The goalkeeper waited till he played. Let's get back to um, positive instead. We don't need to. I hung around far too much. And the game ended. And uh, wow, we've just got away with that, boys. We've just got away with it. And I tell you what, it had to be Martinez to score. Not a hat-trick this time around. A hat-trick of hat-tricks. But um, appreciate your efforts. Passion. We've just ended their unbeaten run, boys and girls. Uh, we'll praise Mer Merritt. gets that. My God, Merritt. Goalkeeper, nine rating. Wow. Well, that's going to be the... Uh, Title of the episode, isn't it? A goalkeeper with a nine rating. Oh my god, we've got a goalkeeper with nine saves, one per save, is that's what it is, and a penalty save as well. Oh my god, goalkeeper gets man of the match. That is uh, that's amazing, right? Man United, then let's see if they uh beat Leicester and they don't, and we claim a one point lead at the top. Chelsea with that defeat, United are still unbeaten. But we are top of the table. Right, we're going to race through the Brighton game. And then we've got, I believe it's Dortmund game straight after. So we're going to go away to Dortmund, Germany then. Right, we'll see you guys in just a second at Dortmund. Right then, folks, here we go. I'll show you the Brighton game after this one. Uh, a disappointing 1-1 draw, it has to be said. But uh, we did have a lot of fringe players playing. 
um, and because of this big massive game here as well so we're resting quite a few players so <clears throat> so we're back to the first team everybody's back Merritt is in goal Lazaro Rigani Diallo Pellegrini Neves Vilhina and then we've got uh, Maximum Rodriguez Sancho we'll welcome him back as well and Martinez up front 12 goals in 10 games now Haaland 6 in 11 we got Brandt Julian Brandt oh dear I thought that Eden Hazard then. Oh, thank God it wasn't on Goetze as well. Sancho returns back to Dortmund, so hopefully he's going to prove a point. And, uh, well, they generally play well against their um, previous um, employers, don't they? Some of these players. So hopefully he'll uh, do a job for us. I don't mind a draw in this game. I'll take I'll take a draw here and now, I think. Right, okay, change of rooms. Let's uh, prove a point there. They like it. Straight into it then, boys and girls. Let's play. Here we go. Top of the table. A win here would almost guarantee us a uh, place in the next round, actually, to be honest. Sancho just races forward. Yeah, see, I told you he was going to prove a point. Zagadu. What a name. Zagadu. Right, good interception by Neves. He finds Martinez, who's on form at the minute. And that's a fantastic save by the goalkeeper, who I didn't see enough of to make any bit of a claim on what he's called. <laughs> Maximin, not quite getting past his man over the far side. Uh, Pavlenka. Is the goalkeeper for uh, Dortmund? Uh, they've got Emery Chan as well and uh, Guerrero, Zagadu Akanji, Dahoud. They've got a pretty decent side. As Harlan moves to the right wing now, Hazard up front. Right, okay. We've, I'd say that we've had uh, the best of the chances in this half. Let's um, thank him for their efforts. Let's uh, see if he can do it again, boys and girls. We are balanced again. I'm wondering whether to change that to uh, attacking as we go forward. But if we can um, not concede anything here as Morelos comes forward. Great sliding tackle but into Goats and what a save by Merritt. I mean that's a great tackle but unfortunately it thread them through the middle didn't it. Zagadu plays it out wide as we've uh, got nobody down this left and right hand side sorry. That's a great interception by Lazaro who's on a yellow card so he's got to be careful. Rigani plays over to Diallo as we play it around the houses at the back and Martin is on goal again. Oh, that's an effort. That's an effort. Come on, Martinez. You can put the ball in the back of the net here. Uh, so, good in swinger. And, uh, wow, Merritt with the shot. Shall we go a little bit? Tech? Shall we go? We'll go attacking with 20 minutes to go. Let's see. We need to make a couple of changes as well. I mean, these are our first team, so they're doing relatively well. We should win that. The three ball into Martinez. It's another chance. It's another chance, right? We'll just pause it. Let's see what we can do. Uh, Sancho is looking rather nervous, so we switch... We'll switch them around a little bit, I guess. There's nobody... Vahina's not doing an awful lot. We're going to do that, switch them, switch them around, and Nevers can do a little bit of a job as an advanced playmaker, I guess. Um, the Zaro's on a yellow card. We have got to really be careful there. and We haven't really got anybody that can play right back. No. It's not what we want to do. Armada can come in for Rodriguez, who's been relatively quiet. 15 to go. Can we get to the all-important goal here as uh, Reina comes forward? As we win it back again, though. Martinez this time skips past his man. He's got a lot of work to do. Straight at the goalkeeper once again. He's um, he struggled to score since his two hat-tricks on the bounce. It's more or less that he's been marked out of the game quite literally. As Neves is on the yellow card. As Sosa Lazaro, who has the ball, pick it on the right hand side, skips past his man into the area. Neves picks it back. Lazaro, nobody there. Maximin on the other side now. Outside, Pellegrini. Neves, come on! That's what we why we moved him. That's why we moved him. Right. Balance. Uh, we'll go back to positive. We won't go balanced. We'll uh, go back to we'll go positive. We'll go back one. We don't want to sit on it. Five minutes to go. Pellegrini out to Neves and what a strike. What a strike. I mean, this could this could uh, give us a platform to uh, progress as we play Dortmund at home in the next game. Sancho comes forward. Did he really want to score against his uh, previous employers? I hope so. Neves with a cross. We're not quite getting the corners uh, on target. Are we really, where we really want them? But... Um, they're doing okay at the minute. We are making them struggle. And that is a fantastic victory. That's a victory against Chelsea away from home. And a victory away in Germany. And wow, what a uh, what an episode. What an episode. I mean, Ruben Neves with an 8.3. I was wondering. He's been having quiet games. But he's uh, kept the games ticking over. 
he plays really well after having a break as well. Newcastle edge out a tighter Dortmund contest, uh, 62,000 uh, semi assistance. That we get another two million. We've got seven million from the uh, European journey so far. The results coming. Benfica beat Salzburg 3 0, so uh, they're going to put the cat amongst the pigeons as well. So if, let's have a look, quick look at um, the games are coming in thick and fast at the moment, so we need to rest our players. So if we just have a look at the schedule as well. Uh, the 1-1 one -one against Brighton, we went 1-0 down in this. And uh, Aaron's, I mean, I have to uh, show you this goal as well. Aaron's, even though he's not that good a player as Maximin or Sancho, um, but I tell you what, this goal was absolutely phenomenal. The f and he was injured as well, thigh injury, and he ran the full length of the field and slotted it in like that. It was brilliant. It wasn't the best of games, but as you can see, we did have... Uh, a lot of um, fringe players in here um, but yes um, a 1-1 one -one draw at home so the two away victories at Chelsea and Dortmund with a home draw in between it just didn't seem fair but looking at the Premiership Brighton are eighth so I didn't realize I thought they were down here somewhere so uh, my bad in the end but yeah uh, we did manage to get away with it but only just. Right, okay, the Champions League group at the moment stands out. We're five points clear. If we beat Dortmund again, I think we will I think we'll qualify. I think we really would. Although Benfica probably will beat Salzburg again. Because that's who they'll play next. And if they do that, then I'm assuming that we I mean after the Benfica uh, after the Dortmund game, we will be playing Benfica. So yeah, we've got to win the next two games, haven't we? In order to qualify, or even a draw, I think a draw would even do a win in the draw. I think that would help us as well. Right, okay, let's have a look when we're going to be coming back. There's uh, there's a lot of things happening. We've got FA Cups and uh, things to play again in January, but we've got the Carabao Cup coming up. We've got West Ham, Tottenham, Southampton. Okay, Dortmund again. Do we want to see Dortmund again, or do we want to play? Oh, choices, choices. Forward it on a little bit further again. And uh, we'll come back to the Benfica game, actually. Possibly the Man United game. We'll skip through the West Brom. And possibly that, that's going to be a big, big tie against Man United, I think. So the Benfica and the Man United one, I think that's what we'll come back to. As long as we don't lose against Dortmund, we'll be all right. But I think that game against Benfica is going to be the critical one, whether we go through to the next round or not. If you enjoyed that, pop a big thumbs up for me. If you'd like to see some more on YouTube channel, please subscribe. And until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.